First, let me show you some of the drainage patterns which we are going to see in the presentation. After that, we will look at the details of each pattern and learn how to use Google Earth to explore these. To understand what is a drainage basin, first consider a wash basin. When water falls into wash basin, it goes through a pipe into a drain. This is analogous to a drainage basin where source of water can be rain or snow melt. Wash basin is the land area over which rain falls. Pipe is representing a stream. Outlet drain is lake, ocean or some river. So this entire area, including stream, is called drainage basin. Other terms describing the same concept are catchment area or watershed. These terms are used in different countries. Now consider two wash basins empty into same outlet. Water which is falling on one wash basin does not go to other wash basin. However, all the water from two basins fall into the same drain through different pipes. These wash basins are analogous to two catchment areas or watersheds. You can combine these into one drainage basin. There is a line which separate these wash basins which we call drainage divide or watershed line or ridge. Let us see this in another diagram. These are two different catchments which are connected to each other. The line which divide these watershed is called drainage divide. You can see two catchment areas and ridge here. Water which falls here will go into these streams while water which fall here will go into these streams. Similarly, you can have multiple wash basins representing multiple watershed which are draining to one large stream or lake. In India, there are 25 drainage basins, 101 sub basins and 4566 watershed as per Central Water Commission India report. How do we decide which area is drainage basin, sub basin or watershed? Drainage basin is taken as the area contributing to river from source that is start to mouth that is end of the river. Sub basin and watershed area contributing to the tributaries are selected from management point of view. For example, in this diagram, we take area covered by yellow lines as watersheds and red lines as sub-basin and whole diagram as drainage basin. In fact, all land on earth is a watershed. The land area is drained by network of channels. These channels are called tributaries. That means these are contributing to the river or distributaries. That means they distribute water from the river. The arrangement of channel in an area is called drainage pattern. When water flows from one point to the other point, it seeks path of least resistance in its journey towards the sea. Topographical and geological obstacles are encountered in its path. Because of this and climate of that region, each stream has its own individual characteristics. Conversely, drainage pattern can give you visual summary of every geological and climatic characteristics of that region. Drainage patterns are quite distinctive. A combination of several patterns may be found in same drainage basin. Let us see first and most common drainage pattern. The first one is dendritic pattern. The stream with its tributaries resembles the branch of a tree. It develops on rocks of uniform resistance and indicate a lack of structural control, which means underlying rocks are not changing the paths of the stream. 
we can see various tributaries which joins to larger channel at acute angles that is angle less than 90 degree and then larger channels join to form still larger channel this is a dendritic pattern which we have seen on google earth let's again see some of the dendritic patterns on google earth second pattern is rectangular pattern in this tributaries join the river at right angle you can see a grid like pattern which develops in a strongly jointed rocky tree The third pattern which we will discuss is trellis drainage pattern. It develops in the region where hard and soft rocks exist parallel to each other. In this the river is joined by the tributaries at approximately right angle. Let's go to fourth one which is radial pattern water moves from central peak to the sides examples are volcanic or conical hill you can see various channels where water is moving from center to the sides the flow direction in the fifth pattern that is centripetal pattern is the reverse of radial pattern here the streams from different directions flow towards the center this is common in inland water sources where streams terminate for example a lake etc in the sixth pattern that is annular pattern it develops around a dome where concentric bands of hard and soft rock have been exposed streams from central circular pattern and tributaries meet the circular stream
The seventh pattern which we are going to discuss is a parallel pattern. Tributaries run parallel to each other and meet the main stream. There is a pronounced slope and a structural control which controls the spacing between the tributaries. You can see the example here. Eighth drainage pattern is distributary type. A large stream split into smaller distributaries. You can see there is a main stream and then it splits into many smaller streams. Examples are delta or alluvial fans. This is a Nile River delta named so because its shape is like Greek letter delta. The last and ninth pattern which we are going to discuss is pinnate type. It forms in fine grained surface and is a special case of dendritic pattern. The Ganga Basin in India is an example of this. Google Earth uses KMZ files, keyhole, markup, language, zipped files. You can import KMZ file or you can create your own KMZ files in Google Earth. So some of the links are given in the description where you can import KMZ files for drainage basins. Let me leave you with what we have done in this video.